different type of video from the usual pickups videos. I know before the season started, I was doing more collection videos because there was nothing going on. Um, so I'm kind of getting back into that because the season's been real slow for me, like I said in the preview. And I just had not like seen anything I wanted really much from the season. The last stuff I got was the undercover collab, it was like three weeks ago. So I thought I'd do a little collection video, a little tutorial video to show you guys how I display my stickers I'm going to show you. Um, stickers always been kind of a cool thing. If you come from the skate world, that was like the big thing with like skateboarding. You would always be like, get new stickers, put them on your board, or just collect them. Um, and I kind of wanted a way to display them and I just have them all in a box, have them all in a box for like forever from all my Supreme ones and stuff like that. And Supreme really didn't do that stickers really since like, I don't know, like 2013. Now they kind of drop them with all of every collection and collab. They really didn't do that before, which is pretty much a box logo. So let me just get right into it. I'm going to show you guys my stickers and I'll do a little like kind of like how to, how I display them at the end of the video. <clears throat> I'll start with my, uh, my box logos. Right now, these are the loose ones. I gotta get a frame for them. First off, ET one, right there. It's Supreme's like real, like uh, translucent. You can't really see it. And then I got the two Mandini box logos right there. Still missing the boards. I'll get them one day. That. And then the most recent one, um, the Undercover Cloud. It's a real cool one. I like Renaissance art, so that one's real cool. I don't have the Capone or Yaga one. I don't care for that uh, uh, collab, I guess, or whatever, but I'm going to get one just to complete kind of like the collection. And these are the ones I started. I started putting them in frames. These are really easy frames. You get them from anywhere. Any type of frame will work. I think it's like 8 by 12 or something like that. Um, this one will show off the first. It's a PCL at the top. Then we got another, um, oh, the Lobanian or whatever that one was called. That one's below it. The flags. Then the HR Geiger one below that one. That's a cool one. And then this one, we got the Pink Panther, black and red at the top, black and red, and then the 3M red, and the kind of like that silver. And then here we go with the collabs again, undercover, middle finger, black, and then red. And then we got this two CGs, my favorite pattern, my favorite collaboration so far. The Army, Digi, and the little dots, Supreme Backwards, got the Navy and the Olive one. And those are all my uh, box logos that I have. And then of course I have like over the years I got like Duke hits up the red and then some CDG ones again. Um, I got the original like matte one they, they threw out back in the day. It's just like pretty much a piece of paper. And those are all my box logos. Um, like I said those frames are like, I don't know, like $5 from like Walmart, Target or something like that. I just slide them in, put four in, I think they're like 8x12s if you want to go pick them up. And then here's like all like the collabs and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I was trying to figure out a way how to like display them and um, not just keep them all in my like shoebox. So I figured I'd get a, get a frame. I kind of basically all I do is put double side tape on the back and then I put it to the cardboard that comes with the frame and I just kind of arrange them and like fit them in a frame. I think this is like 15 by 20 or something like that. You can get them anywhere. This is a plastic one. If you want to go crazy, you can get wood or nice ones. But these are 10 bucks at like Walmart, Target, something like that. <clears throat> Hang a screw, it's got little like hooks on the back. So it's real easy. So I kind of just like go through and show you guys like what I got. And the first one, three uh, top Daniel Johnstons, his little graphics, and you got the Supreme one right here, it's also Daniel Johnston. Uh, Too Drunk to Fuck, Dead Kennedys. Got the Quaalu, little three mini ones right there. Supreme Anti Hero, Dead Kennedys again with the Cool Cross. Uh, Supreme Bling logo, Supreme Hologram. And this is the Anti Hero little uh, Coke can display. You're supposed to put around your beer so it looks like Coke. Uh, that came with the anti-hero board. Down here you got Harold Hunter, CDG. Um, and then this is from the Wackies collab right here, uh, the Lovejoys mini little hologram box logos. Uh, I hate this shit uh, graphic, Misfits graphic, Spring Sport, that graphic looks so, uh, I don't know, looks like something like Photoshop, you knew like type in like a second. And then the fuck you, we do what we want. Um, I think that's from a Jefferson Starship, if that's what it's from. There's a song that they say that shit over and over. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's like, uh, that's a little, that's my, I think that's my first one I did. And here's the second one I did, so it might be more recent stuff. Um, Neil Young up there. And then we got this uh, Murder She Wrote Supreme. Another Supreme graphic, kind of cool. Um, I Never Promised You a Rose Garden. That's from the book and the movie about the schizophrenic uh, girl. Um, Anarchy backwards in red, I got another one yellow. Supreme right there. I forget what this is from. I think it's like, I forget what that is from, but it bothers me. And then the Supreme Dada right there. 
two HR Geigers. He did like all the aliens and stuff like that. Real cool guys like behind the whole like biomech thing and tattoos and the tattoos. Uh, Susie Sue, uh, another one. Have a nice day. The Quaalude right there. It's a cool graphic. Spinach hologram. Bastiat, Bruce Lee, both right here. Taxi Driver, one of the first you know graphics they ever put out. Real cool movie. Real weird movie too to watch it in this day and age. Dead Kennedys again. Supreme, Supreme Rocket. Supreme spelled wrong by Mark Gonzalez down here. The little uh, Egyptian. Fuck you, we do what we want. Different color. And that's number two. Okay, this is the most recent one. I haven't even like showed anyone this one yet. Um, I just did this the other night. It's kind of made me like the inspiration to do this video. <clears throat> this is all like way more recent stuff. At the top, you got the fuck off like holographic kind of hologram one. The two, uh, I guess like the anime porn shit they did like Toshio Madia or whatever. Wasn't into that, but I put them up there just because you know I got them. Supreme Productions with the little Max, Max. And then the Chateau Latif Supreme, it's that uh, wine company that kind of just made the label with Supreme on it. Um, Ninja Man uh, album cover, they just put Supreme up there. Supreme little circle thing. Supreme World Famous, Betty Boop. Um, then we got the bread one down here, not by bread alone, it's a sun, Sunbeam uh, bread or whatever. Supreme Motion logo from Goodfellas. You got the, this is like the most obscure one. Uh, Supreme and Fire print. And you got a strawberry. I don't know that, what that's from. If you do, um, let me know. Supreme Globe. Got the crybaby over here. A little splatter, a little purple Supreme one. Supreme International Flags. I think that's a ripoff of a polo. Um, Instant Pussy. Mark Gonzalez Butterfly. And then we got the screw right here. You can see the top of it. I think that's from the screwed up click. I think I've seen a shirt with that. It's the screwed up click uh, kind of graphic. Then we got uh, dolls from the recent undercover collab. Generation Fuck You, another undercover collab. Got the Eat Me down here, little three button stickers. The Mandini Gun, still, still one of the cool scraps they uh, kind of put out in the collab. And then they fuck you up, your mom and dad. They may not mean to, but they do. Um, that's, I forgot who wrote it, but it's like a, it's a poem that some guy wrote, I think Philip something. Um, so that's where that came from. Kind of like giving you guys some background stickers. Um, and yeah, that's my sticker collection. You know, that's like all the pretty much one single ones I have. And then of course, they got like, Got a few other like doubles and stuff like that, and just like uh, different colors and stuff. So that's pretty much my whole collection. I'm not gonna go through all my doubles and different colors. You guys get the, uh, kind of the, the point. And I'll show you guys like real quick how I did all this. It's kind of, I don't know if it's self explanatory or not. Pretty much it's buy a frame, it's like 10 bucks or something like that from Walmart. I do 8 by 15 it's just what if I was a decent size. I take it out. I use the cardboard and I place all the stickers down and make them fit so everything looks good before I put tape on them. After that, I, I take a picture in case I mess it up so I can go back to it or I just kind of pick them up and put double-sided tape on the sticker, put it back where it goes, go to the next one, put them all together, put the glass back on, and close it, and then you hang it up and that's pretty much how I did it. Um, so I think it's pretty, pretty cool to display them like that even if you don't display them or hang them on the wall. Can pretty much kind of like uh, kind of archive them, just put them all together somewhere, hang them in your, put them in your closet. Just kind of a quick way to see them. Um, I think they just look cool. I like to display them. You know, they're all a little piece of art. You got all over your little picture frame. Interesting. A lot of people like look at it and say, you know, like what's that? What's that? It's kind of interesting. And um, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Like I've said, like I know it's been real slow. Um, I just haven't seen anything I really wanted to buy. I'm more. I'm more like, you know, picky with what I buy now. I'm back in the beginning, I would just buy like whatever pretty much. But now I'm just like, yeah, I really don't care. I'll save my money. So I'm real more, I'm picky more. I'm more picky. But um, like I said, fall and winter, I don't get a lot of stuff. Just waiting for collabs and maybe CDG. Um, maybe try for a box logo hoodie, even though I don't need one. I got the tonal one I'm happy with. And other than that, I'm just pretty much, you know, oh yeah, and then the, the crib, the MTV Cribs tour that everyone keeps asking about. I'm gonna do that, I think, after Halloween. Um, I just because I wanted to add more stuff to the part, make it more interesting. Just having to wait in a while, putting stuff up, not kind of cleaning it up. So it's a little bit more interesting. So that video, I think, will be worth the wait. I'm going to make kind of like a fun MTV Cribs video. If you don't remember that show, just go YouTube it. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do eventually. I'd say within the next two weeks, and I've been saying that forever, but I'm going to try next week to film it. And I'm going to edit it good and everything. So like I said, stay tuned for that. Maybe if I pick up something from Supreme, stay tuned for a pickup video. And uh, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it like always. And, uh, Real glossy, you got Supreme all over it. And then you got the little lantern.